So we're fun, we're cool, we're quirky. That's what we're, we're quirky. just F. <laughs> Fun. We're gonna talk about also health. Yes. And health and fun should go together. Okay, cool. Right? So, just to start off at a very easy question, how many days a week do you work out? Well, considering the fact that I'm actually finding the selfie stick really heavy right now, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think that I'm. No, 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 it's cool. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, okay. I, I actually am like starting to question how fit I am. But uh, how many days a week do I work out? Yeah. Honestly speaking, since Jan, I haven't uh, worked out once. <laughs> I find that so But since Jan, I've actually only been doing that. I've just been like doing dance classes, dance training, pole classes, gymnastics, stretching also is a form of workout, by the way. Um, so I've been pretty much, you know, doing stuff like that. But when I say that, people are like, oh, but you're not really even working out, you know? What's yeah, but it is a workout. Okay. Favorite snack before a workout and after a workout? Mm. Before workout, uh, well, I usually like to finish my workouts in the morning, so I usually end up having like my coffee before a workout. I think that's really cool mm -hmm. uh, because it gives you some good energy. Um, I usually don't like really eating anything before a workout because I think like your body needs to be able to concentrate on what it's doing at that time instead of like concentrating on digesting your food. Uh, so, but maybe like if you are super hungry, then just have like a really small um, fruit. Okay. Uh, how do you motivate yourself when you don't want to work out? We all have those days. Obviously. Me. Obviously. I'm always having that day. All right. <laughs> Yes, actually, uh, honestly, feeling good is a huge motivation for me because uh, I know I'm at my worst and I'm at my rottenest uh, when I haven't worked out. And that's honestly because I know that like I've just, I'm not proud of myself. Okay, so now, since we're talking about women's wear and workouts, uh, periods yeah. and workouts, do they go together at least for you? Uh, do you think women should give their bodies a break while they're on their period or they should still work out? Well, it depends. I mean, like there's some people who, you know, there's some girls who go through like really, really bad cramping. Mm -hmm. You don't need to force yourself through any of that. I mean, like seriously, it's, it's not a live or die situation to be at the gym and working out that particular day. Um, and then there's some girls who are completely fine during those days. I would say go for a light walk or then, you know, like kind of like, I don't know, continue um, as you normally would. Training should come from a very, very kind of clear, focused mind. And um, it, it's, it's your mind actually that ends up doing all the work. So make sure you're, you're, you're good up there. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so now this is your brand question. Fitness clothing, how necessary is it? And why can't I just work out in my PJs? Um, I would tr probably try and incorporate PJs into my line. Thank you for giving me this <laughs> awesome idea. Um, because, but that's exactly what you just said is exactly what I'm aiming for. I feel like women, you know, should be able to feel super comfortable in their workout gear. It shouldn't even be something that's so different from what you would probably wear on a normal basis. Like, mm -hmm. you should be able to say, okay guys, I'm just heading to the gym right now. I'll be back in an hour. And like, leave your, you know, your luncheon or leave your, or, um, whatever your, your your cinema, I don't know, whatever wherever you were, and just say, okay, I'm just gonna hit the gym and come back, or I'm gonna hit like this dance class and come back. It should literally be as easy as that. If you only have 30 minutes to work out every day, okay, what I usually would, do only yeah. that much oh, time. So then, uh, <laughs> what do you focus on? I do a lot of things to kind of like keep me going. So, um, like, I bought like these amazing DVDs. They're fitness DVDs. Um, so there's like yoga ones. There is Jillian. Um, what's her name? Jillian. She was. She basically did the uh, Biggest Loser. Uh, so she has these 20 minute workouts. Um, they're a half hour workout um, kind of like DVDs as well. There's belly dancing DVDs which I carry on with me when I'm like when I'm traveling. And um, so if I don't have a trainer, they kind of like motivate me to like just put something on, uh, put it, you know just like whichever kind of mood I'm in at that time. Then I mean, you know I have a I have a pole in my house. <laughs> Uh, so if I kind of like just feel like flying sometimes, I get on the pole and it's a, it's a excruciating workout. It's like it's insane, but at the same time, it's like you can, you're having like a little bit of fun with it. Right. So now, since we spoke about a trainer, what's that one thing you must always ask a trainer before you hire them? What do you ask? I would test out a trainer. Like honestly, like you can't. 
If you if you are going to be working out with someone, you got to remember that this is the person that whose face you have to see on a daily basis. So make sure that you know um, you're comfortable with that person. He keeps things very creative for you and different because otherwise you'll get very bored. Um, and at the same time, he's always motivating you. I don't like trainers who demotivate. I really I think that's a terrible trait because we're all here to learn something, and you're there to like kind of guide us and teach us. And just by demotivating and demoralizing someone, it's, it's I don't think it's the way forward. Right, so the last question is, what is your fitness mantra? My Asli Jacqueline's Asli fitness mantra. <laughs> my fitness mantra is, it's time to start giving an F, okay? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs>